welcome to the Repuzzle channel. Today I will be showing you step-by-step -step instructions for the B-Puzzled original 3D crystal puzzle, The Statue of Liberty. Now this puzzle has no numbers on its pieces, so I will be telling you a step number, showing you the front and back of each piece and doing a description, and then showing you where and how it goes on the puzzle. Hopefully by the end of the video, we'll have gotten it together for you. All right, let's get started. Okay, so step number one is going to be the base. It's the only piece that looks like this. Big square with two going in and two going out. You also don't have to hold it. You could set it down. It will make it easier to put it together. I'm just holding you up for the video. Step number two is going to be this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over, it has one going in, one going out with this indent right here. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top left. Step number three is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has one going in, one going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom right. Step number four is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has two going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect the bottom right. Step number five is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over, it has an indent right here, and two going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect at the bottom right. Step number six is this piece. It has an indent right here, one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has two going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top left. Step number seven is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has two going in, with the side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top left. Step number eight is this piece, it has one going in, an indent right here, and one going out. You flip it over, it has two going out, with the side facing downward, it's going to connect at the bottom. Step number nine is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has two going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect on the left. Step number 10 is this piece. It has two going out, you flip it over, it has an indent right here, one going out and one going in. The side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom. Step number 11 is this piece, it has an indent right here and two going in. You flip it over, it has another two going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect on the left. Step number 12 is this piece. It has a small indent right here. Two going out. You flip it over. It has one going out, one going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect on the top right. 
Step number 13 is this piece. It has two going in. You flip it over. It has one going out, one going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top right. Step number 14 is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over. It has an indent right here. One going out, one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the right. Step number 15 is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has an indent right here, and two going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect on the left. Step number 16 is this piece. It has one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has one going in and one going out. With this side facing upward, it's going to connect at the top left. Step number 17 is this piece. It has one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has two going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect on the bottom left. Step number 18 is this piece. It has two going in. You flip it over, it has an indent right here, and two going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom right. Step number 19 is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has an indent right here, and two going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom. Step number 20 is this piece. It has one going out, one going in, and an indent right there. You flip it over, it has two going out. This side facing downward, it's going to connect along the left. Step number 21 is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over, it has two going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top. Step number 22 is this piece. It has two going in. You flip it over. It has another two going in. With this little house looking thing on the side. With this side facing downward, the little house facing upward, it's going to connect at the top left. Step number 23 is this piece. There's two going out you flip it over it has two more going out with the indent right here it has the little houses on the side so with those facing upward it's going to connect on the left step number 24 is this piece it has a two going in you flip it over, it has one going out, one going in, and the little roof's right here. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect on the bottom right. Step number 25 is this piece, it has two going out. You flip it over, it has one going out, one going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top right. Step number 26 
is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has two going out, the indent right there. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect at the top right. Step number 27 is this piece. It has one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has two going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom. Step number 28 is the top of the base. So it's going to be flat on one side right here with the two holes. And then the three going in and the one going out. You're going to line up the two right here with the piece we just set, set down right here on the side. Just like that. Step number 29 is going to be this pole. And it's going to go through this top one right here. And connect to the bottom. And then you're going to tighten it with your key. Just like that. That's it for the base. Okay, step number 30 is going to be this piece. We're going to record a little differently than normal because I cannot hold this one while trying to put this part together. So. This is going to be piece number 30. It has the foot right here. It has three going in. And it's going to line up with the outline. So it's just like that. Step number 31 is this piece. It has a little part sticking out right here and we're just going to flip that downward and connect it right there step number 32 is this piece it has two going out the indent right there you flip it over has one going in and one going out with the side facing upward it's going to connect along the top right step number 33 is this piece has one going in one going out you flip it over has one going out one going in with the side facing downward it's going to connect along the bottom right step number 34 is this piece it's one going out one going in you flip it over it has one going out and one going in with the side facing downward it's going to connect along the top right. Step number 35 is this piece. It has two going in. You flip it over. It has one going out, one going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom. Step number 36 is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has two going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the left. Step number 37 is this piece. It has one going out, one going in. You flip it over. Has an indent right there. 
one going in and one going out with the side facing downward it's going to connect along the bottom step number 38 is this piece it has one going in one going out you flip it over it has one going out and one going in with the side facing upward it's going to connect along the left step number 39 this piece has one going in one going out a little notch taken out of it right there flip it over it has one going in one going out and with the side facing downward it's going to connect along the bottom step number 40 is this piece it has one going out one going in the notch taken out of that side right there you flip it over it has one going out one going in with the side facing upward it's going to connect along the top Step number 41 is this piece, has one going out, one going in, you flip it over, has one going in, one going out, with the side facing upward, it's going to connect along the right. Step number 42 is this piece, it has one going in one going out you flip it over it has two going out with the side facing upward it's going to connect along the top step number 43 is this piece it has two going in you flip it over it has two more going in with this side facing downward it's going to connect on the left side. Step number 44 is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over as one going out and one going in. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect along the top. Step number 45 is this piece, it has one going out, one going in, you flip it over, it has two going in, with the side facing upward, it's going to connect on the left. Step number 46 is this piece, it has two going out, you flip it over, it has one going out and one going in. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect along the bottom. Step number 47 is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over, it has one going in, one going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the right. Step number 48 is this piece. It's so one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has two going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect at the bottom. Step number 49 is this piece. It's so one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has one going in and one going out. With the side facing downward it's going to connect on the right side step number 50 is this piece it has one going out one going in you flip it over it has one going in and one going out with the side facing downward it's going to connect along the top
next up, number 51, is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has one going in and one going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect at the right. Step number 52 is this piece. It has one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has one going out and one going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top. Step number 53 is this piece. It has two going in. You flip it over, it has one going in and one going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect to the bottom right. Step number 54 is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over, it has two going in. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect on the left. Step number 55 is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over, it has one going out, one going in. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect at the top. Step number 56 is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over, it has one going in, one going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect on the left. Step number 57 of this piece it has two going in. You flip it over, it's one going in and one going out. The side facing upward, it's going to connect the top left. The next step is step 58. It's going to be this piece. It has two going in. You flip it over as one going out and one going in with the side facing downward. It's going to connect along the top right. Step number 59 is this piece. has two going in. You flip it over. It has two going out with the side facing downward. It's going to connect along the bottom right. Steps number 60 to 63 are going to be these long pieces. I'm going to connect this long skinny one to this one with the little arm. I'm going to connect them together like this. There's a little notch. Then the hand is going to go in there. And then this other long piece right here. And they're going to circle around the body. There is a whole There's a hole at the back here, and there's one at the front. So the back one is going to be this piece, the hand, and the front one is going to be this piece. And it's just going to go on the front here, and just push them together. Step. Number 64 is this piece, it has two going out, the indent right there. You flip it over, it has two going in and one going out. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect right at the top right. Step number 65. Is this piece. It is the book. And with the words facing upward, it's going to connect in this little indent right here. Step number 
just like that. Step number 66, this piece has one going in, one going out, and you flip it over. It has two going out, one going in, with this side facing downward. It's going to connect along the bottom. Step number 67 is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over. It has one going in, one going out. This side facing downward. It's going to connect along the top right. Step number 68 is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has two going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top left. Step number 69 is this piece. It has one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has one going out, one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top right. Step number 70 is this piece. It has one going in right here. And you flip it over. It has one going in, one going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect on the left. Steps number 71 to 73 are going to be the other arm. So it's going to be this piece and this piece along with the arm that holds the torch. And this is going to slide into place just like that. There's a little notch there, it just slides in. And then this is going to connect just like that. And you're going to take step 74, which is going to be this piece. It has a hole right here for the neck. It has little notches for the arm to fit in. And one going out with the side facing downward. It's going to connect right here. But we're going to put that in first, the arm. And then we're going to connect that one spot on the neck. Just like that. Step number 75 is the head. Just going to sit in place right there. And then you're going to grab the pole, slide it into place, and tighten it with your key. Then we're going to take piece number 76. It's going to be the back of the head. And that is just going to press into place. Just like that. And step number 77, the last piece, is the torch flame. And it has kind of like a half moon shape. You're just going to line it up with this piece right here, push it in, and that's it. So this is how it should look when it's finished. If you have any suggestions of what I should put together next time, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.